Howdy do! Karen Adamski here with ShamaMama.com and today I'm coming to you with an answer to a question. And this question comes to us uh, from a follower <clears throat> who asks, why, oh I love this question so much, why do I see energy as a white light and my mom sees it as purple and blue? Why do I see energy as a white light and my mom sees it as purple and blue? Such a good question. All right, so this is a hard question to answer without going down the total um, rabbit hole of teaching how to um, see energy and, and um, talking about all of that. That's a whole other um, discussion. So let's assume you see the energy already, right? You're seeing it as white, your mom sees it as blue and purple. And by the way, if um, there are people out there who are saying, well, gosh, I don't see energy and I want to know more about that. Number one, it's super, super easy. Uh, I can show you how to see energy in uh, within 15 seconds. And then it's kind of like riding a bike. Uh, and then from there, you kind of, well, you'll never be able to go back without seeing it. Um, and from there, you can start seeing energy of things. Um, and so there's a practice. I have a video out there, actually. If you look on YouTube, if you're on my station, if you su subscribe, you're, you'll see that in um, the list of videos. Um, or if you want to just go onto YouTube and do a search, Karen Adamski, How to See and Feel Energy, uh, that video will come up. And that's a really good, good, good practice um, to learn. Okay, so back to our question. Somebody's seeing white light as the energy. Somebody's seeing energy as a purple and blues. When we are first learning to see energy, sometimes people will teach us what the different colors mean. And that's a really great starting point when you're first learning to understand that there's different chakra colors, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, purple, and then on up. And these chakra colors have different meanings. That's really good knowledge to have because you want to keep that in your library. You want to know what these energy centers, these energy meridians within ourselves are. So that's good knowledge. But that doesn't mean that just because you see um, energy as a purple light, uh, that doesn't mean that it's all related to your crown chakra. If you see energy only as green light, it doesn't mean that it's always related to um, the heart chakra. It's just how you see energy. So it's good to know what it could mean. It's good to know what the basics are of energy and light. But when you tap in and when you personally see energy, it's going to look however it looks to you. For me, sometimes it's kind of um, white. Sometimes it's kind of an iridescent see-through white with kind of mm, sparkly is not quite the right word, but there's a little spark to it. Um, sometimes I see blue, sometimes I see violet. Um, I have learned over time that when I'm healing or I'm working on another person and healing, I'll see their energy and the colors that I see mean different things. But what they mean to me doesn't mean that that's what they're going to mean to you. It's a language. Um, think of it as mm, a color, energy, um, petroglyph, something ancient, right? Like you're trying to get the basic communication down, the primal communication. Um, so if energy comes through to you as pink and energy comes through to your um, spouse as gray, um, it doesn't mean that the gray is bad and the pink is good. It's just how you're seeing the energy. And it doesn't mean that it's always going to stay that way. You might develop 
um, different colors and different understandings of what you're seeing over time. It just depends on how much you practice. But it's a basic language and it really, uh, this is my personal opinion, it is really, really specific to you. And I think it's really important for you to listen to yourself before you listen to a teacher, before you listen to a book. Um, if they're telling you that when you see this color, it means this. It could mean that, but for you, it might mean something very different. And so you need to really go inward and figure out, yeah, how do I roll? What does this mean to me? And if it's completely different than somebody else, that's okay. That's the way it, it's supposed to be. So listen to yourself. This is a very intuitive practice um, as well as a visual practice. So thank you for that question. And for you and your mom, it might be kind of fun to sit down and look at a lavender plant out in the backyard with the intention of writing down what you see. So you're both looking at the same plant and then go back and, and review your notes and see what similarities you had and what the differences are so that you can really understand that it's different for individuals. And it's good for you to understand each other and how each other reads that energy. And that brings you closer together. And then as you practice, like I said, you may open up to uh, different colors, uh, different um, radiations of colors or radiations of that same color. You may see pulsing. Uh, the more you practice, the more your mind opens up and the more that you see. So it will be interesting to see how you and your mom kind of open up together and blend. You know, that's how we as individuals, when we come together, we're more powerful. And it's really important that we understand each other. Keep going, stay powerful, listen to yourself, listen to your intuition, honor the intuition of others. And that's about as good as it gets. Okie dokie, artichokey. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being here today, and I will see you soon. Namaste.